Our weather is perfect for checking out the cherry blossoms as we approach peak bloom. And meteorologist, yeah, meteorologist Caitlin McGrath is on a boat tonight doing just that. You have the primo <laughs> assignment tonight, Caitlin. <laughs> And primo weather to enjoy it, Leslie and Lorenzo. It is a gorgeous evening out here on the water. We just pushed back from the Georgetown waterfront. We are heading back toward the wharf to see some more beautiful cherry blossoms. So let's talk a little bit more about what we can expect here over the next several days in terms of the cherry blossoms and what you need to keep in mind if you want to check them out. So again, predicted peak bloom from the National Park Service between the 22nd and the 25th. They are now saying Thursday is the expected peak bloom, which makes sense. Temperatures in the 70s would do it once we're in stage five. The average peak though, April 4th, so we are still trending ahead of schedule once again this year. Earliest peak ever was on March 15th. Latest peak ever, not until April 18th. And last year we saw peak bloom today, just a year ago today on the 21st. So once we do hit peak bloom, a few things to keep in mind. The trees typically bloom for several days. So Friday into the, or I'm sorry, Thursday into the end of the week and weekend is going to be the time to get outside and check peak bloom out. However, we typically like to see calm weather once we hit peak bloom and Friday and Saturday look far from it. Looks like we're going to have some rain to contend with both days and then some wind as we head into the weekend as well. So I suggest getting outside on Thursday if you can to check out the cherry blossoms. Unfortunately, I don't think they're uh, long for this world in peak bloom once we do hit it on Thursday with the incoming weather. And remember, you cannot pick the blossoms or climb the trees, making uh, seeing the blossoms from the boat an even better idea. So as we head through the next several days. Here's what we're talking about tomorrow. Not as bright as today. We will have more cloud cover, especially in the morning, some afternoon sunshine. Then we start to increase the rain chances on Thursday with that really mild day. But coming up, we'll talk much more about the rain chances for Friday and Saturday and what it could mean for the cherry blossoms. But again, if you want to avoid the crowds on ground, I suggest you head out on the water. It is a beautiful way to see the city and see the cherry blossoms. Guys, we'll send things back to you. Got the rowers back there, too, and everything. We really know once beautiful. they say, once we get the word that they're in peak bloom, that's when the rush begins. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> yeah. right. All right, Caitlin, thank you. <laughs>